So Larry, let me ask you this. What's yep. the most interesting thing about the conversations we have here on the campus of Bismarck State College? Well, what I hear from people that talk to me is, is when I get to slam dunk you, they think that's really fun. If that ever happens, that'll be great. You know what they tell me? They say, who's the guy who looks like the deer in the headlights? <laughs> we know. have these, this is, this is a, something that we cooked up together yeah. seven or eight years ago. Yeah. We thought it would maybe be one season. This has been one of the highlights of yeah. my intellectual life. We get together, 3 to 5 p.m. in the fourth floor of the NEC building, and these are free to the public. They're also streamed for those who can't make it. We choose a series of topics, and we just dig in and read books about them and, and, and draw in the, the, the audience by way of, of conversation. And you know, I think what it does for the community, I like the fact that this is a, sort of a public history uh, service that we're doing for the public and you know we get a good crowd at uh, on the fourth floor of the National Energy Center and uh, and I think we're exposing them to something they that uh, they might not be exposed to previously for example we're gonna have a conversation on Richard the third or we have one on Buffalo Bill Cody. We've talked or, about John Dunn we've talked uh, about the death of Mussolini we've yeah. we talk a lot about the history of the American West North Dakota history and particularly Native American history because we both have a a deep fascination with that. I don't yeah. know that everyone knows. You have a PhD in history, and the American West is, was your was your yeah. subject. Federal Indian policy is actually my research area, so I really enjoy the opportunity to dig into those sorts of topics. And you know, people often say, "Oh, is, is this just a good-looking man or not?" And I said, "No, no, he's a serious <laughs> historian." And so when people come to these, they can really yeah. get one of the things that I really like about them, Larry, is that historians don't always agree. But you can, mm -hmm. you can disagree in a really playful and respectful yeah. way. History is never finished. It's really a set of ongoing negotiations mm -hmm. about what exactly happened in the past. And it's got to be conversational. You know, I think too much of, of the talk today, we're so used to talk radio and talk TV, and it's all adversarial, and it's very high-pitched. Name-calling and, and, and who shrill. And shout down most, you know. We have a conversation with two friends. We sit on the stage, and we have a conversation about a historic topic. We prepare pretty seriously. We read four or five books to get ready for this. There's always PowerPoint. Sometimes there's video and music. But the heart of it is just the art of conversation, and it's so much fun to be in hour two on those Sunday afternoons and realize that there is a, a group of people who have come to watch not just an exploration of Custer or Crazy Horse or the Dust Bowl, they're really here to watch public scholars yeah. work an issue, but work it in a way that is accessible and playful, but nevertheless rigorous. And I think it's, for me, it's opened some new doors in my own thinking. Yeah. When you moved back here and became the president of BSC, you asked me if I'd like to do a lecture series. Yeah. I said, no, but I will do a, a set of conversations with you. Who knew we'd be going this many years yeah. into this project? Absolutely. And, and it's really fun. It's fun for me because I am, by academic training, a historian. And of course, my day job is to be an administrator. And so I really appreciate the opportunity to really dig in depth into different topics and, and have that conversation and, and to have the public there. And they ask great questions. At some um, point, so we're going to run out of topics. I did four or five years ago. <laughs> Tell us what's, what's on for Actually, this year. Actually, for this, this year, we're going to talk about Richard III. King Richard III of England, who is memorialized uh, most extraordinarily by Shakespeare and Richard III. Turns out a fascinating yeah. history and they found his bones. And Buffalo Bill Cody and the invention of the West. The West was sort of created by Theodore Roosevelt and Frederick Remington and Owen Wister and more than any of those by Buffalo Bill Cody. When the frontier was closing he decided to to encapsulate that and take it on the road and he became one of the greatest showmen in, in the history of the world. And the Dust Bowl years the darkest period of North Dakota history, 30,000 people left the state during that decade. And finally, uh, Custer and the Black Hills. Well, we like to talk about Native American subjects. You have a background in that. It's one of my fascinations. And this is really about a new book called The Thieves' Road, about the, the journey he took from Fort Lincoln here in Dakota Territory, uh, up the Little Missouri River, that is south, to the Black Hills, discovered gold and touched off a set of events that culminated in his death at the Battle of the Little Bighorn. Yeah. Fascinating subject. So we hope all of you will join us and for information on our conversations please go to bsctalk.com. They're free. We want as many people to come as possible but if someone can't come They're we streamed. do stream them and, yeah. they, and they can get them wherever they happen to be. You're going to prepare this year, right? 
<laughs> I prepare every year. Clint. Of course you do. <laughs> but we've done some amazing things. From Rome, for example, I was I happened to be there. We did a conversation about World War One, and we were live streaming from both yeah, sides. That, that was, was fascinating. Amazing. That's sort of the future. Of and, the and we've had some wonderful road trips preparing for these. We've uh, gone we've to the uh, the burial site of Crazy Horse. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also went to the we, Slim Buttes in South Dakota. We followed the last days of Mussolini in Italy. <laughs> we, went, we went to Milan to find the place near Lake Como where Mussolini and his mistress were assassinated at the end of World War II, and we found and it. we found it. Yeah. So we've had some great We'll go anywhere in the world, apparently, to, <laughs> set, to set one of these up. But we like them to be playful. There's some humor. But it's pretty serious stuff, too. We're talking about some of the most important themes in in American history, and in particular, North Dakota history. So people can come to these 3 to 5 p.m. on Sundays. You can get a schedule at bsctalk.com. They're free and open to the public. Absolutely free. We'll see you there.